Hey everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to give you four steps to improving your pronunciation. Okay, lots of students are asking me about how they can improve their pronunciation, how they can sound more like native speakers. Okay, this video is going to deal with that. I'm going to give you four steps to, to uh, sound more like a native speaker, plus one bonus idea. All right, so watch the whole thing and you will learn everything I know about how to improve your pronunciation. If this is your first time here, why don't you uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell down below, then I can help you get better at English, okay? While you're watching this video, you're going to see two secret codes. I put them in my new videos. And once you see a secret code, send me a message either here on YouTube or on Instagram, wherever you know me. And then I'll know that you are a fantastic student. And I really, really like to help fantastic students. All right. Now let's get to those four steps. Step number one is obvious to everybody you have to listen to English first, okay? Wherever you can hear English, listen to it. So that could be videos like this one, could be uh, movies and television shows on Netflix, totally fine, could be podcasts. I know great students to listen to all of those things, often, all right, every week, to help them improve their English. Uh, it can help you improve your listening as well as your pronunciation at the same time. You have to listen. That's step number one. Very easy. Step number two is a little bit more difficult. <laughs> All right. Step number two is you have to notice the pronunciation. Don't, don't just listen and ignore it. Don't just hear noise and ignore it. You got to focus on things. All right. Focus on the words, focus on the phrases. How do native speakers say it? You want to copy that. And you can even go smaller than words and phrases and focus on letter combinations. Okay. So letter combinations, um, I'm going to talk about those a little bit later, but they are very important. You have to focus and, and kind of realize do you sound the same as a native speaker or do you sound differently? Okay. So if you notice, uh, if you notice a difference or if you notice the way somebody pronounces something, and if you think you are exactly the same, then maybe you're great at pronunciation. Maybe you're perfect <laughs> or maybe you're not. Maybe you are just joking and lying to yourself. Okay. Uh, if you want to get better at pronunciation, you do have to be truthful and you got to listen to yourself really, really carefully. All right. <laughs> okay. Now let me talk about those letter combinations now. So these letter combinations, they could be TH. For example, some people from some countries, they pronounce a TH like a Z or Z or an S. Okay. So for example, I might say them, I see them and they say, I see them. Look at them. Okay. I understand what you're saying, but it's not exactly the same as I'm saying it. How about the S? Some people from some countries pronounce TH like an S. So I say, think, let me think about it, but they might say, let me think about it. Again, it's different. I can still understand you. All right. I'm not saying you're not understandable, but I'm saying if you want your pronunciation to be like mine, you got to fix that. Another letter combination is the W and the V. Some countries pronounce the W like a V. So I say water, they might say water. I say, well, I feel well today. They say, I feel well today. Right? Do you hear it? There is a little difference there. You got to pay attention to that difference. I can understand it, but it's different. 
How about the difference between V and B? Sometimes some people from countries say this. So I'd say very. They might say berry.、Uh, I say television. They say television. Slightly different. Slightly different. Totally understandable, but it's different. Okay.、Uh, another one, of course, is the R and L difference. Okay. If I say laugh. They might say "raf." Okay, it's different. I can still understand you when you say it in, in context, but it's not the same as a native speaker. The last combination that could be different is the "ed" ending to verbs, and I've made a whole video about this.、Uh, sometimes we pronounce the "ed" ending like a "t," like "stopped," "stopped." Sometimes we pronounce the "ed" ending like Id like id id so that's like wanted, wanted, and sometimes the ed ending is pronounced like a just a d. For example, in the word played. All right. So those those are all letter combinations that you could or should pay attention to if you want to get better at pronunciation and sound more like a native speaker. All right. So we did the first two. You got to listen. And then you gotta notice the differences. If you've made it this far in my video, fantastic! All right, the secret code right now is blue, the color blue. All right, let's go on to the two other steps. Step number three. Okay, you've already listened. You've already、uh, noticed. Step number three is you have to record. You have to record yourself. Okay, you have a video or something on YouTube, a TV show, or, or something recorded somewhere. Use your phone, record it. Listen to what you want to record, and then record yourself saying the same thing, so you can listen to it back to back. Listen to the native speaker say it. Listen to yourself say it. Okay, you got to record it. If you're happy, <laughs> keep going. Record something else. If you're not happy, try it again. Record it again. Okay, so doing that, using your technology to get better at it, you want to、uh, practice with some easy words first, and then get a little harder and harder and harder. Okay. Now, step number four. This is the last one. This is one that a lot of people. I did a survey this week. I was asking my best students. What do you do? How do you get better at pronunciation? What do you do each day or each week? And number four was the one that came up the most, and it is practicing. Okay, they practice, they practice, and they practice. Okay, you can't get better at pronunciation by reading a book. You can't get better at pronunciation by just listening to music. You've got to move. Those lips and your mouth—you've got to say those words out loud. So they practice. They talk to themselves. They say these words. They record themselves again and again and again. Keep practicing. Okay. Now this is what really divides the great students from the average students because the average students—they don't do it. Right? I can't force you to do it. I can't come to your house. And threaten you to do it. I'm not your mom, <laughs> right? I'm just telling you what the best students have told me. They practice a lot. All right. So those were the four steps. You got to listen. You got to notice. You got to record yourself, and then you got to practice. There's no way around it. That is the four main steps to improving your pronunciation. Here now is the bonus tip. The bonus tip is, what? Why are you learning English? It's not because you want to become an actor in Hollywood and sound like an American, is it? <laughs> no, you're learning English to communicate, and for communication to work, you do not have to be a hundred percent perfect. No, you don't. Your pronunciation does not have to sound exactly like mine. You can still communicate. I communicate with my students every day, every day, and their pronunciation is not the same as mine. 
but the ideas get passed back and forth. We are communicating, all right? If there's some words that are really hard for you to pronounce, you can focus in on those and try to improve, or <laughs> say other words. You know English. English has thousands of words, and there's many, many ways to say the same thing. So you don't have to become perfect. Perfect is not the goal. Communication is the goal. All right, so now, if you have made it <laughs> this far in the video, congratulations. You are a fantastic student because very few people will watch this video this long. We, we, we're over 10 minutes now. You are incredible. And the second secret code is incredible. All right? So if you write to me and say, hey, Joe, incredible, then I know that you made it this far. I'm super proud of you. All right? <laughs> okay. If you have any other questions about this video or you just want to say hi to me, write a comment down in the comments below and I'll try to write back. And now, if you're interested in watching some more videos, I'm going to put some links here, right here, right here. All right. So you can still uh, learn some more. You can keep listening to my wonderful voice. Ooh. <laughs> All right. And hopefully keep learning. I love to keep you guys learning. That's it for now. I'll see you next time. See you later.